Today, I'm gonna show you a free and easy way to convert your voice into someone else's. Uh, yeah, and it's free and easy. Uh, I already said that, Patrick. Why don't you two just stop talking all together? Why don't, don't you, you two, two just, just stop, stop talking? talking? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel where we are still continuing to explore all sorts of fun creative uses of AI. And voice cloning and voice conversion definitely fall into that category. And today I'm going to show you a site that I found by accident. And quite honestly, I have more questions than answers. But what it gives you at absolutely no cost is a similar speech to speech functionality as 11 Lamps, where you can upload a recording of your voice saying something and then have it come back in another voice completely. So let's take a look at it. I provided a link in the description below. And when you first get to easyaivoice.com, you'll see this page, which gives you a basic overview of what you can expect, including some pricing. But everything I'm going to show you, I've done with a free trial account. And so far, I have run into any limitations, but I have reached out to them to get some clarification, but as yet have not heard back. But for now, you can play with the tool without worries of too much restriction. There's also a section in the middle here that in essence suggests that you can model your own voice, but I have not seen that capability in any of the tools I'm about to show you. So I'm not really 100% sure of the state of this site, but what I'm going to show you is completely functional. So to get started, you just sign in with a Google account and then you'll be greeted with this page here. So let me walk you through this. So along the left, you have the history of all the files you have used this service to convert, and you can make that go away by clicking this little arrow here and it just sort of collapses it along the left. Why don't we choose a voice first, and then we'll have a better idea of the audio to record that would be suitable for that voice. There's a few ways to browse these voices, but the easiest one in terms of a workflow is just to click up here where it says step one and pick a voice. Now the problem is, there's no real organization or categories to any of these voices. And also most of these voices are cartoon characters. And I don't watch a lot of cartoons and I don't know that many, so I have to go with the ones I'm familiar with, hence the voices I chose at the beginning of this demo. They do have a handful of human voices as well, and we'll play with those. And you'll also find that these names here aren't very helpful because I think the first part of the file is the name of the user who uploaded it, and you don't really even see the rest of it, and there's no way to expand this to see what this says in its entirety. I'll call your attention to the play button where you can get a sample of each of these. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So all of these use the same sample. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. You'll also notice that there's the ability to change the pitch and the gender here. So let's listen to this. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. A male voice. Change it to female. Play it again. Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And then we can change the pitch. Jumps over the lazy dog. Well, that's not good. So let's do a search for a cartoon character that we're familiar with. So again, if I do that search, there's nothing really obvious here. Sometimes we see our search phrase over here, sometimes we don't. So we really just need to play these and see which voice is the closest to the one we want. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps the over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. All right, to me, that one sounds like the cleanest, so I'm going to select that. Now all you have to do is drag and drop an audio file here. So let's record one first. If you don't have one handy, I'm just going to use Audacity, and we'll say something that is appropriate for that particular voice. Good morning, everybody. I just know it's going to be an incredible day. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? I've got the greatest job and the greatest friends in the whole wide world. All right, we're just going to save that out as an MP3. So you just literally drag and drop the file right there into that little box. And I know that this voice is natively higher than my real voice. So even though when I recorded the voice, I put a little bit of this in there, I'm going to raise the pitch of this maybe four steps, and let's just see what happens. Now you'll see that you go into a queue, and most of the time it's pretty fast. It just depends on traffic and maybe who's using this model. I haven't really figured out what determines this. And then in just a few seconds, you've got this. Just know it's going to be an incredible day. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? I've got the greatest job and the greatest friends in the whole wide world. All right, that's pretty good. Let's do another one. Pick a voice. This time we will type another name. We'll sample these. The quick brown fox jumps over. The quick brown fox jumps. That sounds the best. We're going to select that. And then let's record something that that character would say. I can't believe that every single day of my life I have to put up with your foolishness. Why, oh, why can't I get a neighbor that's somewhat normal? Okay, export that audio and drag and drop. Hit submit. I can't believe that every single day of my life I have to put up with your foolishness. Right, let's do that again, but let's raise the pitch. Now, these wait times can be kind of annoying. I've been waiting way too long for this particular one to be done. It's a good thing I'm going to show you how to run this locally on your own machine, and it happens way, way faster, of course, depending on the hardware you have. 
but you can use these exact models on your own computer, and I'm going to show you briefly how to do that. But first, let's check in on what's going on here. I can't believe that every single day of my life I have to put up with your foolishness. Why, oh, why can't I get a neighbor that's somewhat normal? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's fun, right? All right, let's try and find a human voice. All right, well, I'm looking for a particular voice that I know is out there for me to get, because I used it before, but I'm not finding it this way. So I told you that there's a couple of ways to find these models. So if you go along the top here, you're going to find this link to Voice Models. It's going to take you to a completely different site called voicemodels.com. And here you can search even more models. So now I've got a few more choices for the voice I'm looking for. Now, I can't sample it here, though. That's the one thing. But I can click this button, Run, which will take it over to our other program where we can use it as normal. So let's record some appropriate narration for this voice. The alligator, entrenched in a game of chess, totally misses the gazelle as he steals his VCR. In the background, hyenas are plotting their doom, their own doom. Hyenas are not very smart at all. Okay, that was a terrible impression. I've done it so much better in the past. I don't know what's going on. Performance things. Dragging it up. Clicking some. And let's listen. The alligator, entrenched in a game of chess, totally misses the gazelle as he steals his BCR. In the background, hyenas are plotting their doom. Their own doom. Hyenas are not very smart at all. That's fine. Let's do another. Let's just pick a random. Good, but let's find a woman. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the. Since we're having trouble with this whole hunt and peck method to find a female, because the labeling here doesn't really tell you too much about the voice, it might be easier to go back over to voice model, where we do more easily see the name of the character that is being mimicked here. So. I'm looking for a woman's name. Okay, in my search for a female voice, I found this Fairly Odd Parents theme song, Singers. Now, my guess is that they've somehow sampled the singers as a group, and that if I were to sing something using this model, it would come out like them? Let's find out. I can't not do it. So we're going to click on Run. And while we're here, let me just point out that above where you drop the files, it says Selected Voice Model, and it has an address to a Hugging Face page where you can actually download that model for yourself. Why would I want to do that, Bob? Well, remember how I said just a few minutes ago, I'm going to show you how to run this locally on you. That's, that's why you would. All right, so let's sing some. I don't know what to sing right now, but I'm going to do it anyhow. And that is the way that this thing will go. Yeah, yeah. That's freaking embarrassing. Okay, so let's export. Let's drop it in. And I won't change the pitch. My, my gut feeling is I got to change the pitch. But let's just hit it and see what happens. I don't know what to sing right now, but I'm going to do it anyhow. And that is the way that this thing will go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's awesome. And I have to go back and change the pitch a little. Not that that was bad. Whenever I post voice cloning videos, I get a lot of people asking about singing. And some of these models are trained to sing. And that is obviously one of them. I don't know what to sing right now, but I'm gonna do it anyhow. And that is the way that this thing will go. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think I liked it the other way better, but that's pretty cool. Let's pick another one. Luke, I've got something to tell you. I got the results back from the paternity test. Seems I was wrong. Luke, I've got something to tell you. I got the results back from the paternity test. Seems I was wrong. I'm not your father. I'm a neighbor of yours from a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> so if you've been playing with voice cloning for a while, you probably know what's going on here. You're probably familiar with RVC. And this allows you to take about 20 minutes of audio and make a model out of it. And this is basically a web interface to this technology. But you can run this technology on your own system. There are several ways to get RVC on your machine, ranging from super simple, which I'm going to show you, to not super simple, meaning that you have to have an understanding of GitHubs and pulls and all sorts of other things like that that you do not need to understand to get this running on your system. And by the way, RVC, I've seen it stand for retrieval-based conversion, retrieval-based cloning, real-time voice cloning, realistic voice cloning. Who knows? 
RVC, that's what we're going with. So if you've watched my videos in the past, you know I'm a big fan of Pinocchio. Pinocchio allows you to install these AI applications super, super easy with one or two or three clicks without having to have any understanding of machine language or Git or repositories or anything like that. You simply go to the link that I've provided in the description, click on download, choose your platform, install it. I know you can do this. Once you've installed Pinocchio and run the interface, it's gonna show you all the applications you have installed. Obviously, I have several here. You will have none if this is your first installation, so you're gonna to wanna to go find RBC. So click up here on Discover, and you can actually just scroll down and you'll find it right about here. You click on this, click on Download, give it a name like RBC, and then click on download. Once it's downloaded and you go back to the main screen, you'll have the ability to click an install button, do that, and then you'll be ready to go. From the home page, once it's installed, you'll click on launch, give it a few minutes, and it will pop up in a web interface. Once it's running, you'll notice that there's lots of stuff going on up here. There is a lot you can do with this program. You can train voices, you can extract voices from music, and then train those voices into your own models. Lots of stuff you can do. I will do another video on using this to train your own models, but that's beyond the scope of this particular video. I just wanna show you how to use these models on your own computer so you don't have to worry about using the web interface or being in queues or anything like that. Like that. Okay, so this is the main interface of the RBC web UI, but before you can use it, you need to have some of these voice models on your computer. So let's show you how to do that. If you follow the default installation procedure for Pinocchio, you will have a Pinocchio folder somewhere in your user directory. Inside of the Pinocchio folder, you're looking for API. You'll open that up, and here you will see the top-level folders of any applications you've installed using Pinocchio. You may just now have RBC. So open that up, and then inside that, you'll open up the app directory. And the two folders we're paying particular attention to are this one here called logs, and then another one inside the assets folder called weights. Now inside my weights folder, you'll see a bunch of files that have the PTH file extension. That is a model file. In the logs directory, you'll see files with the index extension. So where do we get those? Right back where we started from. So here we are in the easy voice interface where we were doing our work before. So how would we get a model onto our own system? Let's find one first. Let's do a search for a character voice. Let's sample it. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. That'll do nicely. We click select and right up here is the address to the model itself over on Hugging Face. We can select that, copy it, and simply paste it into a browser and it will pop up for the download of that zip file. So I'm gonna save that zip file. And then when it's downloaded, I'm gonna open it and you're gonna see that there are the two files we need, the index file and the PTH model file. Now the directory structure inside of these zip files may be a little different, but if you drill down far enough, you're gonna find the files you want. So now what we need to do is just drag these files into their appropriate locations. So for the PTH file, we're gonna drag that into the weights directory. And then we're gonna to navigate to the logs directory and we're gonna drag this index file in and drop that there. Once that's there, we go over to RBC where it's running and we're gonna click Refresh Voice List and Index Path. Now, clicking this drop down is going to show you all the models you have installed. Now, obviously, I have a lot. At this point, if you've just installed this and done what we've done, you'll have the one we downloaded. In this case, it's this C3PO model. Most of the time, it automatically finds the associated index file. But if it doesn't, you just need to open this and you can find the appropriate index file in the list. Now, sometimes the index file will not be named like the model file, and you'll need to go back to the original zip file when you downloaded the file, make sure that you've got the right index file, and choose it from the list. So now that we've got that, we just need an audio file to convert. Oh dear, I can't believe how many tarantulas there are in here. I was told there would be no spiders. A spider-free zone. That's exactly what I was told. You just can't trust those Imperials. Okay, I have a terrible British accent, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to save this out. And we don't have a cool drag-and-drop interface in RVC. I wish that we did. However, you can simply navigate to where you save that audio file, select the file, and then click Control, Shift, and C on your computer. And that will copy the path of that file, which you paste here, where it says enter the path of the audio file to be processed. So a simple control V and you're done. We're going to use the crepe or the harvest algorithms to convert this. We're going to click convert. And just in a couple of seconds, we have this. Oh dear, I can't believe how many tarantulas there are in here. I was told there would be no spiders. A spider-free zone. That's exactly what I was told. You just can't trust those Imperials. Okay, that's not a very good sample. Let's get another one that I did earlier. Control, Shift, C. We'll paste that in there. We'll click Convert. And you'll see that as I was talking, it converted that in like a second and a half. 
Oh, dear, I can't believe I've gotten myself into another situation with you. Of all the people I've run across in this entire galaxy, why is it that our paths are constantly crossing? You still owe me $20, and I'm not leaving until I get it. Pretty nice, right? That sounds fan flip and it was really easy to get. Let's go back and get another one. Let's go find and pick a voice. Let's just do a search for a female voice. The brown fox jumps over the lake. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Open the zip file, and you'll notice I'm not actually even extracting the zip files. I just open the zip file, and then I can drag it right out, and the extraction takes place. So we'll drag this index file into the logs folder, and then we'll drag this rosy v2 into the weights folder. Go back to RVC, refresh the list, do a search for rosy, and there she is. Index file pops up. We need to record a voice. Now, because I'm testing a woman's voice, I have to be careful about what I say here because I don't want anyone to think that I think, oh, that's what a woman would say when she does a test. I see what you're doing. All right, let's save that out. Find the file, Control Shift C, Control V, and go. Oh, because I'm testing a woman's voice, I have to be- now, Obviously, I have a low voice. It's supposed to be a woman's voice. So now is when we use the transpose option here, just like they have in the web UI. And I'll pop it up a full octave and see what happens. I'm testing a woman's voice. I have to be careful about what I say here because I don't want anyone to think that I think, oh, that's what a woman would say when she does a test. I see what you're doing. Anyone who watches my channel knows that this is one of my favorite voice clones to do. In fact, when I made the video on how to do this process, this is the model I made. Unfortunately, the rest of the audio was pure... Anyone who watches my channel knows that this is one of my favorite voice clones to do. In fact, when I made the video on how to do this process, this is the model I made. Unfortunately, the rest of the audio was pure. So being a voiceover artist and being in audio my whole life, voice cloning is one of those things I'm particularly fascinated with. And I love to hear a voice clone that absolutely nails it. And there are literally hundreds, probably thousands and thousands of these RVC models floating around out there. You can learn to train your own models. It is actually very easy. I will do a follow-up video on that. But voice cloning is something that you're interested in. Let me know in the comments below and I'll put some more focus on that because it's one of my very, very favorite things to cover. And the ability to be able to do this on your own system in just a few minutes and get results like that in seconds is pretty freaking impressive. So go check out this service. I don't know how long it's going to be around because some of the pages are broken and I get these weird error messages. So I don't know. But right now it works really, really well. So go check it out. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will...